Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Um, there's a few results that, you know, I did go quite according to plan um, for the midweek games, for the midweek catch-up games. Every team now has played 29 games. Uh, obviously, there will be catch-up games for a few of the Championship clubs still left in the FA Cup. Um, but anyway, it's a few talking points I want to get down to. So anyway, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, link to my merch is down in the description below. Um, but anyway, guys, let's get this underway. So guys, anyway, you know what I'll do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Cardiff versus Reading. Um, Cardiff are in 12th, 42 points, Reading are in 15th, 37 points, 5 points between the two clubs, um, Cardiff and Reading both to play in the midweek, um, catch up games, Cardiff beating West Bromwich Albion 2-1 at home, um, Reading um, losing 1-0 at home to Bristol City, um, this game's quite tight, uh, I think that it's got to be a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Derby County versus Stoke City. Um, Derby, 16th position, Stoke are in 20th. Stoke on 31 points, Derby on 37, um, so it's first six points between the two clubs. But the clubs have had very different, um, you know, results over the past few weeks. Um, Derby losing to Luton 3-2 away from home. Um, so a very disappointing day for Derby. Derby have won three out of the last five. Stoke have done four out of the last five. Uh, sorry, no, three out of the last five, but drawing that one and losing the other one. Whereas Derby of yeah, so basically similar records going into this week. Um, confidence wise, I think Stoke gonna have a bit more confidence than what Derby are. So I'm gonna go for a two-one Stoke City win. My next one is Hull City versus Brentford. Hull City currently with 13 for 39 points, only two of the last five are wins. Uh, Brentford only two out of the last five are wins as well, losing two, drawing the other one, um, but Hull have lost the other three. So, you know, and Hull have played in the catch up games and they lost 2 1 at home to Huddersfield. Brentford losing 1 0 at home to Nottingham Forest. So, both these teams are going in with a defeat, yeah. Um, I think this game's only going to go one way, and I'm going to go for a Brentford win, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Brentford win. My next one is Birmingham City versus Nottingham Forest. Um, Birmingham, obviously, drawing in the FA Cup. they got to go play a replay at their ground um, against Coventry. If you watch my FA Cup predictions, I did say that's going to end up the replays written in the stars, really. Um, but I looked at that highlight, so I'll probably think Coventry just maybe urged to go through, but obviously a replay by being played at St Andrews. Um, Nottingham Forest uh, beating Brentford 1 0 away from home. Bref, uh, Birmingham did not plan the midweek fixtures, so Birmingham are currently 18th at the table, but they won out the last five, 34 points. Nottingham Forest the third. Um, winning three out of the last five, drawing the other two, and just two points behind West Brom in the automatic promotion. Um, this game, I can only see it going one way, and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Nottingham Forest win. My next one is Chelsea Athletic versus Barnsley. Um, Chelsea Athletic currently 21st on winning in their last five league games. Um, Barnsley are currently um, 23rd with 24 points, only win one out of the last five, um, four points off safety. Um, 
This game's going to be quite a tight affair, but I think Cheltenham are just going to edge it, and I'll go for a 2-1 Cheltenham win. My next one is Fulham versus Huddersfield. Um, Fulham currently sitting in fourth. Um, I don't think they no, they didn't play. Um, Huddersfield did play by beating Hull City 2-1 away from home. Fulham are in fourth. Um, did have a chance to uh, close the gap in their top two. I think they drew their game. Um, Huddersfield... They're much looking towards safety this season. I know there's still 17 games to be played. Still a lot of points up for grabs. But I think it's time now where clubs start thinking of where's their priorities are. And my opinion on Huddersfield is safety, um, which I think they're going to go for. So I'm going to go for a Fulham win. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 Fulham win. My next one is Leeds United versus Wigan Athletic. Big talking points about Leeds. I will talk about them in just a minute. Um, but Wigan are currently sitting in 20 seconds. Two wins out of the last five. Uh, four points clear with safe, uh, to get to safety. Um, Wigan on 26, Charlton on 30. Um, Leeds newly um, sit on top of the championship um, after their win against Millwall. Great comeback by Leeds as well. I did actually watch that game, and this is my argument with VAR. Um, Millwall had a penalty. I've seen pictures. Um, I'm gonna agree with both sides a little bit with this penalty shout. Did the whole of the ball cross the line? I'm not so sure, but we got to think of it as fans of. Um, you know how quick it is, and this where VAR is needed um, more than ever. Uh, I've had this, I'll talk about this on my Premier League predictions. I feel free to check it out at the end of this video. I'll make it pop up on the screen. Um, but if you watch that, you see my arguments with VAR um, and why it's needed. Uh, I mentioned the Liverpool penalty as well. So against Col uh, Col against Shrewsbury in the cup. Sorry, I nearly said Colchester. Um, but, you know, go feel free to check it out and hear my opinions on it. But in my case, I think it's still needed. I rather much in an even game than, you know, it cost my two three points like it nearly did to Leeds United. Um, Wigan, um, uh, I just really mentioned Wigan, but I beat Sheffield Wednesday 2-1 at home in the week games. Leeds beat uh, Millwall 3-2 at home. As I said, great comeback by Leeds. But I still think free AR is needed. I know you guys are, are entitled to your opinions. And please feel free to put your opinions down below. But if you hear my opinion on it. More on the Premier League uh, predictions I mention it. It's, you see why I think it's definitely needed. Um, but as far as this game goes. I'll go for a 2-0 Leagues win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Blackburn. Um, Middlesbrough currently sitting in 17th, 35 points, only winning two out of the last three games. Um, sorry, no, only no, not winning in their last three games. Um, you know, Middlesbrough, a bit disappointing over the past few weeks as well. Uh, Blackburn winning two out of the last three games, drawing the other one. So, you know, going confidence wise, I'm going to go for a uh, three. One Blackburn win. My next one is Preston North End versus Swansea. Um, Preston North End currently sitting at seven forty-six points. Uh, then played the midweek games. Um, Swansea City didn't play either. Um, but Swansea have dropped down quite a bit. Uh, where are they? Right, currently sitting in eighth. Um, two points, so this can very much be a, cha a table changing game, and I'll go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is QPR versus Bristol City. Um, QPR currently sitting 40, 38 points, uh, only winning two out of the last five. Gunnock is a very good Bristol City side, 
Um, currently sitting in seat front, when in front of the last five, losing the other one. Um, I very much think that Bristol City are going to try and push now. Um, I, I think Bristol City will just edge this game. And I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Millwall. Um, Millwall, as I said, had that disappointing defeat to Leeds away from home. And Millwall went 2-0 up in that game as well. Um, but Millwall currently in ninth, uh, winning one out of the last three games, or winning three out of the last five, uh, losing one and drawing the other. Um, but you go back to Sheffield Wednesday. Um, Sheffield Wednesday have dropped quite low in my opinion as well. Um, but they've only won one in their last five, losing the other four. Um, I'm going to predict Millwall to win because I watched that game and I've seen top football there by Millwall. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't hold off for the three points. But I'm going to go for another 1 0 Millwall win. My last one for this weekend is West Bromwich Albion versus Luton. Luton currently bottom of the table, look doomed in gloom. Um, same points as Barnsley, but their goal difference is marginally worse. Um, minus 26 goal difference, Luton, minus 19 for Barnsley. Um, Luton have only won one of their last five. Uh, yeah, don't look too good, but West Brom. I ain't won a game in their last five, so I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.